Three-year-old Colton Gelding Trotters on the track for the second and final heat of the 125th Kentucky Fraternity. Purse of $420,000, sponsored by Hunter and Farms, Stoner Banner, Med Ember Stu Terby AB. The one is International Money. Frank Anthony Train, Scott Zeron Drives for the Money Bankers Table. Number two is What the Hill. Ron Burke Trains for the Burke Racing Stable, the Air Horse Sense Stables. JT Silva Stables, Deal with Empty Farms, Dave Miller. Three is Snowstorm, head over Ron Burke Trains for the Burke Racing Stable, Frank Baldacino, Phil Calora, Weaver Bruce Chevy, Matt Kikali. Number four is Lindy the Great, Frank Anthodonchi Trains for KR Breeding LLC and Robert Rudolph, Tim Tedrick. Five is Yes Mickey, August Fonstead Trains and Drives for Melby Guard Incorporated. Number six, Bill's Man, John Boot and Shane Trains, Corey Callahan Drives for William Wiswell and Emmanuel of Delaware, LLC. Seven is Scratched. Eight is Devious Man, Julie Miller Trains, Andy Miller Drives for the Andy Miller Stable and Stroy Incorporated. Nine is Dover Dan, John Boot and Shane Trains, Brian Sears Drives for William Wiswell, Gene Golden, and Eugene Sheck. And the tit is D. Augie. Archie Corps trains for the Whiskey Trail Stables LLC. Yadik Jingra will do the driving. That's your field for the 13th race. The Kentucky Futurity. Scratch 7 King on the Hill. Super high five wagering. Field of Dunn. Given the fall at the Red Mile. Scratch down the way. Field of Dunn to contest the 125th Kentucky Futurity. Purse of $420,000. Third leg of the trotting triple crown. They're on game. And they're off. The Kentucky Futurity International Money made a break in stride. So International Money was off stride at the start. Yes, Mickey sprinted out quickly to take over the lead for Svonstead. What the hell? Will protect his position to come away close to the inside for Dave Miller as they trot onto that opening turn. Bill's man is sweeping up on the outside for Callahan. That's Snowstorm ahead of her. At the inside fourth, Lindy the Great follows in fifth. Devious Man is next as sixth in front of Dover Dan, who follows seventh. Diagi is eighth, and it's about six lengths further back to International Muddy, who is back trotting, but he is the trotter through an opening stands in 29 seconds. Bill's Man at 12 to 1 sets up shop on the point, but Svonstead not content. It's the give and go here, and that is Yes Mickey, who's a back of the move once more. So Yes Mickey reclaims control up the back stretch. Bill's man is down the inside second. What the hill? Slided the outside in third for Dave Miller. Snowstorm ahead of her. Will look to uh, track his stable weight up at the outside of fourth. Lindy the Great is out to follow in the uh, fifth spot. Dover Dan looks to shoot the gap down at the inside sixth with Devious Man moving alongside. Diagi is next at International Money. Continues to uh, trail. The half mile was up in 56 and 3, 27 and 3. The tempo quickened up the uh, back stretch. Yes, Mickey under steady pressure from What the Hill. Bill's Man. So gapping off slightly down at the inside third as Snowstorm head over up at the outside of fourth. Lindy the Great follows cover fifth. Devious man looking three wide for Randy Miller. They reach the recorders 124 and two. They turn for home in the Kentucky Futurity. And that's yes, Mickey dead at the inside. What the hill is still trying out of the center with Snowstorm head over in between horses. Far outside, Devious man moves up. Lindy the Great follows that move. They reach mid stretch in their four across the track here in the Kentucky Futurity. Devious man at the outside for Randy Miller. Snowstorm head over trying to dig back in for Kakali. Devious man. Snowstorm head over a slugfest here. Snowstorm head over in the Kentucky Futurity. Devious man was second. Lindy the Great third. What the hill fourth in 153 and two. Photo finish in the Kentucky Futurity. Snowstorm Hadover and Devious Man, a tight photo for win. 
in the photograph. It goes to Snowstorm Hanover. After a runner-up finish in the first heat, Snowstorm Hanover bounces back with a gutsy performance here as he comes back off the canvas to defeat a devious man. Four, Lindy the Great, third. Number two, What the Hill, fourth. Five, Yes, Mickey, to round out the super high five, fifth. It's three, eight, four, two, five. Three, eight, four, two, five for your super high five. An instant classic here this afternoon goes to Snowstorm Hanover. Dead game through the lane. And he does return track sign for the Diamond Creek Farm Winners presentation. Ron Burke, the uh, trader. Matt Kikaley up for the uh, wet here this afternoon. Snowstorm Hanover owned by the Burke Racing Stable of Pennsylvania. Frank Ball, the Cheeto. Of New Jersey, Phil Cadora, Weaver Bruschippi, both of Pennsylvania. Snowstorm Hanover, a three year old bay called by Muscle Massive out of the Andover Hall Mayor Snow Angel Hanover. Takes the third leg of the trotting triple crown. The Kentucky Futurity Champion is Snowstorm Hanover. His grandmother Hanover Shoe Farms, he wins for the second time this season, the eighth time of his career. The winning effort, even with the off track, it's a career best today, 153-2 and two for Snowstorm Hanover.